Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a pour over this big gallery wrapped canvas. I can't get it all in the frame, so sorry about that. But it was one that I previously poured over and that, you know, didn't float my boat. So I just have gone over quickly with some acrylic on a sponge brush to just give a coat of um, covering. And I am going to attempt another pour on this canvas that has been troublesome. Oh, gloves broke. Ansels. Ansels these gloves are, but not good ansels. Breaking. Okie doke. I am using... Um, mostly the global impasto paints i am going to put in some of the amsterdam amsterdam acrylic that i've pre-mixed with floetrol so i'm keeping this lovely container which um capriole shabby chic sent me these containers and they're brilliant for mixing your paints up and you can seal the end so <laughs> there you go old paint no worries because it's all sealed so it should keep for quite a long time in there that one I've pre-mixed my Amsterdam with Floetrol I did not measure it I will know if the consistency is right when I squeeze it and if it needs more Floetrol I will add more Floetrol so it's basically the a bit of that and of course uh, the global impastos I'll explain as I go along so I'm going to try and do the metallics today um, I'm going to start off in this corner and see what I get if I do not like what I get so I'm actually not going to be painting the top of the canvas so I will try and keep the bit that I am doing in your vision Whoop. So I might go up here, but I might not. I'm not sure yet. I want to keep it to this one side. So I'm going to just use my little offset spatula -y thing to spread this paint. This is just black that I pre-mixed with a good dash of phalo blue because I like the um, black blue. Will Actually, if you ha add the very dark blue to black, it, it kind of makes it even blacker if you get you get what I mean it kind of yeah it does make it blacker blacker paint so I'll see how I go with this yeah okie doke let's loving these offset spatulas for spreading really loving so I'm going to I'll save that I am going to use some of that uh, metallic bronze and I've got metallic copper and I have metallic gold so I'm going to be using those so I'm going to just kind of puddle pour my colours let's see if I need a bit of black, black a bit more black to puddle on So I'm going to kind of puddle down here and so that's the metallic and this is the gold, the metallic gold. So this will be interesting because I haven't used these particular colours for a while. Now this was one from um, Global that I got quite a long time ago and it says flesh tint which I added a white to it to sort of take it down a bit actually I'll go the dark colour first which I'll go the metallic copper yeah that um, flesh tint was just the impasto so this goes well in this corner I might spread the design a bit but at the moment I, I do want a bit of negative space so this is my flesh flesh tint over it so I'm just hoping these paints are the right consistency to blow with my dryer um, and then I've got a bit of it was just called sand 
So this might, I'll put a bit more of the darker one down again. And then I'll put my sand on top of it. So they're real caramelly, delicious metallic colours, except for the um, sand and the flesh tint. It was called flesh tint, so it doesn't look like anybody's flesh I've seen. <laughs> there you go. And to top those off, oh, a little bit more gold, why not? Probably as normal, have 20 million more times paint than I need on there, but I can't seem to help myself. So now I'm just going to give a good squeeze. I'll just see here first if I've got the right consistent. That seems all right to me. Just going to give a squeeze of my uh, Amsterdam over there. Having them made up in bottles with a lid, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, this is a big secret. You mustn't tell my husband. He bought me this dryer and it's an expensive hair dryer and he said, you've got to promise me you're going to use that. I said, absolutely promise you I'm going to use it. But what I didn't tell him, shh, keep a secret is I'm going to use it in my art room. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. I won't use that one. I won't use that one today because I haven't unpacked it yet. But sh don't tell him. I'm going to just use my $10 Kmart dryer and then we'll do a comparison. Hey, I might end up staying with my $10 Kmart dryer if my expensive dryer doesn't do you know doesn't come to the party so but you're just not going to tell my husband because he promised me you're going to use it you are going to use it yes I said yes absolutely I'll use it but silly him didn't even think that I could possibly be thinking of my art room silly dilly Okay, let's do the $10 special, hey? Let's see how we go. Oh, it's a really hot day here in Australia. It's like 34 degrees, so it's hot. Okay, let's do this. That has gone absolutely, the black has gone everywhere, all over the floor, all over my new boxed hair dryer. <laughs> okay, just one quick, I'll try and edit this bit out if I, oh my God. Oh, I should bring the camera down and show you what a mess I have made. Oh, holy dooly. Never mind, all good, all done, no problem. I love the colours. There is my gecko saying, all is good. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to just spread this out because I actually love the amount of negative space with this very dark black blue. I love those earthy, caramelly, gorgeous metallics. And I will just work with what I've got down in that right hand corner. Um, and cover up the rest of the area quite well so with the with the negative space but I'm going to work on this a bit more and try and get some more beauty out of it but it just looks stunning because I don't know because of the starkness of the rest of the negative space and then these gorgeous 
earthy metallic colours. I suppose I could, let me see, I think I want to put some, yeah, more darker, more of the uh, copper in here because I've got so much of that uh, beigey colour. I'm not sure whether I should blow this with my straw now because I don't want it doing what I just did. I've, I've literally got it everywhere. I've got black speckles on my legs. I've got it everywhere. Uh, do I want to add a little bit of black in there? I've got none left. Can you hear the gecko? He's having a good old time with us. Oh, I don't know where he's hiding. I can't see him. I know people tell me to take photographs of my gecko, but he's um, well hidden in the day. They do come out at night and they're just like these gorgeous little lizardy things. Now, let me try. I've got a bit too much black sitting there and I reckon that might crack if I leave that. too much sitting. Let me try. I'll try my mini blower. Try the mini blower with that diffuser on the end. Oh, I just hope you don't go everywhere. Oh no. No, that's not really working. I think the paint's too, um, too thick for it to Love those bit. Don't mind that at all. Don't mind it at all. Might use my teeny tiny spatula with a little bit of flow troll on, a little bit of flow troll and the Amsterdam to see if I can create some wisps. I've got way too much black paint on this, but it's still, I'm so happy. Let's see how it goes if I put it. wasn't good because I went and 
expose the canvas at the bottom but that's okay because I've got some nice things happening in here Houses, trousers, who'd have thought? I love it. So it's kind of your Dutch pour, and that's it. You can add as many techniques in as you choose. So putting me Aussie slides in my Dutch pour. Beautiful. I'm not going to do too much on that, she said. Let's try and cover that back up. I need my little spatula covering any bits up that's starting to show I did put a bit too much of the black paint where I wanted to blow it out because it's yeah obviously when I blew it it shouldn't uh, blow absolutely everywhere like it did but um, you can certainly just keep working it but that is quite stunning actually I'm really really happy with that I will let it dry off a bit if I feel that it needs um, just some paint taking off I mean I may do it this way in the um, sliding the paint so as to spread it a little bit you can put your Amsterdam paint with a bit of Floetrol and it doesn't have to be Aussie flow troll I'm told that the Amsterdam paint will give you cells with any of the flow trolls that you can get your hands it's the Amsterdam paint that actually helps create cells so I am really happy with that I will turn you around I'll come down closer with the camera that's what I will do because those metallics are really stunning just brought you down for a quick look very wispy delicate kind of glistening all over so there you go oh, all the way back up back up back up anyway guys I hope you liked my Dutch poor Aussie slide bit of a different different colors and I'll be back again tomorrow so see you tomorrow guys take care bye for now